make sure your tenants keep the norm to give tenants security and allow them to become more involved in their communities, help them reduce the antisocial behaviour as highlighted by Jordan's law. Introduce predictable rents, stopping out of the blue, overnight increases that families just can't afford. This will provide more power to our elbow for us as a council to continue to tackle the scourge of road landlords in our community. Some members will already be aware that we have landlords get in touch complaining about these measures, and to be honest, who's blaming them? For an eternity, they've been allowed to operate in an industry virtually free from any kind of regulation, and they don't want that to change. Well, I do, and the Royal Labour Party do as well. We support redressing the balance in favour of the tenants and away from those rogue landlords in our society. The same landlords who have, who have for, for far too long been benefiting from the constant rise in the housing benefit bill, not the tenants who live in them, as the right wing media would have you believe. We learned recently that the Coalition's new buy housing scheme has been an abject failure. The UK has the lowest level of house building in peacetime since the 1920s, while home ownership is at its lowest for 30 years. For low to middle income households, it now takes 22 years to save a deposit on a typical first home, compared to three years in 1983. Far from addressing the housing crisis, the Coalition has entrenched it. All of this means now that for many in the world, renting is the only option, and I include myself in that. That is why I'm delighted to support this motion and this measure that has been introduced by our group. And I would say it's a motion that I believe the majority of good landlords have nothing to fear from. Following what I'm sure will be a successful pilot, I hope that we look at implementing implementing sorry, I hope that we look at implementing this important scheme throughout the forum. <laughs>